If you consider the S-Class to be the best car in the world, that makes the Maybach the best variant of the best car in the world. And given the limited numbers that they are sold in, it's not every day that you see one being assembled. So let me show you how it's done. And to do that, we are at Mercedes-Benz India's facility in Chakan near Pune in Maharashtra. This plant boasts of assembling not only entry spec models like the A-Class, but also luxury saloons all the way up to the S-Class and certain sports cars from the AMG portfolio as well. Such a high degree of localization has not only created many jobs in India, but has also helped Mercedes-Benz maintain a leadership position in the Indian luxury car space. What better way to celebrate that feat than assemble even the Maybach right here? It is put together on the same line that assembles the E-Class and the S-Class, which means that only 85 engineers from the entire pool are authorized to assemble the S580 from the kits that arrive from Germany. These boxes contain the chassis, wheels, suspension, engine components, glasswork, etc. The body panels come painted from Germany too. And with these boxes is how the Maybach S580 begins its journey in India. We began our journey in Maybach's assembly line watching the massive panoramic glass roof getting installed. And there's something oddly satisfying about watching a piece of glass being glued onto a metal frame. The customer's journey with the Maybach begins with the massive brochure of the car. Oh, this. This is the brochure of the Maybach S-Class. Just look how thick it is. And if this is the brochure, imagine how thick the owner's manual is going to be. I wonder who reads that. Anyway, but reading this has become all the more interesting now, now that I've seen the assembly process. And I say this because the Maybach S-Class is more than a car. It is essentially a sophisticated luxury gadget on wheels. From the gesture control functions and the uber luxurious creature comforts to the myriad options in the intuitive and intelligent MBUX system and cutting edge safety tech from head to toe. As you climb the ladder of success, your options start widening. And with cars like the Maybach, there are a lot of customization options. But with locally assembled models, customization can become a bit tricky. That's why a lot of manufacturers shy away from assembling cars like these locally. But Mercedes-Benz does and the S580 does come in with quite a few options. Such choices one makes will define how long they'll wait for their Maybach. Six months for the S580 as we speak, or make that two years for the imported S680. Irrespective of where a Mercedes-Benz is assembled, the focus is always on the occupant safety and comfort. Every workstation has skilled technicians putting together meters and meters of wiring looms. I wonder if the S580 gets its name from the number of wiring connections they make in this car. These technicians intricately work on every small detail in the cabin to ensure that the fit is top-notch as you would expect of a 5.5 meter limousine of this order. Oh, the sheer length of the Maybach S. You know what was interesting? On the assembly line, there was the body and the chassis of the E-Class and the powertrain of the Maybach. And it just dwarfed the size of the E-Class. And this is a long wheelbase E-Class we're talking about. And I wonder how many can feast their eyes on a site like this. When it goes all electric, we are going to essentially look at sophisticated skateboards instead. So this was a lucky day then for my crew and me. We're heading towards electrics, but the Maybach is all petrol right now. This V12 engine in the S680, it comes as a part of the car because it is a CBU, a completely built unit, and that's how it's imported. In the standard S-Class, those engines are assembled by force motors, whereas the V8 in the S580, that comes as a kit, block, piston, head, gearbox, everything separately. All of that is assembled right here. Our luck, or call it privilege, continued as we witnessed the marriage of the S580 chassis with the mammoth 4-litre V8 heart, which has AMG engraved in its walls and arteries. A 
Oh, the goosebumps of watching 500 sleeping horses and sprint to 100 km an hour in less than 5 seconds. Though these numbers can challenge sports cars on their outright acceleration, the Maybach is known for its impeccable comfort and it's astonishing to see how the engineers and their machines accurately set up the chassis to be 0-0 or in layman terms, perfectly parallel to the road to ensure that fabled magic carpet ride. In fact, accuracy is the keyword for everything in the Maybach and despite how carefully it is assembled, the final inspection is done by experienced Hawkeye technicians to ensure that each feature of the car and each mechanical component work as intended. They also ensure that the shut lines are consistent all across and the paint has zero inconsistencies. So these were some of the sights and sounds of the assembly process of the Maybach. I say some because well, it's so detailed that it's impossible to shoot each and every bit of it. That's the level of detail that Mercedes-Benz India goes into. The intricacy is making sure that the fit and finish is absolutely perfect because this then is the best variant of the best car in the world. The bigger matter of pride, all these processes of global standards are happening right here in India.